So now I'm going to show you how to measure your horse's heart rate using a stethoscope. So again, you'll need your stethoscope and a watch with a second hand. Now you don't need to spend a lot of money on a stethoscope. You can buy them off the internet very, very cheaply and you can usually get them for less than 10 pounds. Um, so what we're going to do is show you where to listen. The easiest place to listen to a horse's heart is on the left hand side of the body. If you listen on the right hand side of the body, it can be more difficult to hear. Also, the point you want to listen is just behind their elbow. And it's helpful if their leg is a little bit further forward, which we've done just now. Ideally, if you're listening with a stethoscope, you want to be somewhere nice and quiet and you want the horse to be nice and calm so you can hear really easily. What we're going to do, pop the stethoscope in our ears, Find that spot behind the elbow until we can hear it nicely and just wait for the horse to settle down. And when you're listening, you should be able to hear a nice slow lub dub. Again, remember that a horse's heart rate is much slower than a human's, so it might take you a little bit of time to get used to it. Once you can hear that lovely slow lubbed up, get your watch and count over 15 seconds. So we'll do that just now. And I can hear one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if we multiply that by four, we'll get 36 beats per minute, which actually matches this horse's voice, which is great. If you're hearing anything other than a nice slow lub dub, you're hearing any other noises, it's never a bad idea to get your vet to have a little listen for you and just check that everything's okay. Yeah. Also, if your horse's heart rate is consistently over 44 beats per minute, or over what you know is normal for them, or you've done an endurance event and it's high and it's not coming down with rest, again, that's a time for you to get more help.